Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and how are you? Um, so today we're doing something very special, something very fun. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be inking and swatching new inks that I bought for my, for my fountain pens. And I also have a couple of new fountain pens to show you. It's not really an unboxing because because I already unboxed it, kind of. But anyway, I will show you the pens and I will show you the new inks and let's get started. And of course, if this is the first time that we're meeting, hello, hello, how are you? My name is Meshi and I am the person behind Online Plans. We took a little bit of a break this week, but we are absolutely back. And we talk about anything and everything, minimalist planning, journaling, stationery, all of the things, and we're trying to use them in the most mindful way. So if that sounds good, you would probably really, really love hanging out with me here. Okay, let's get started. I already have like a little booklet. This is just a small little Midori. Um, I stole this from my daughter, don't tell her. Actually, I didn't really steal it, like she wasn't using it, so I think it's fair game. But anyways, I have the, the little, um, I think this is actually the sketchbook that they have. So I thought that this would be really nice to just kind of use it as swatching. And I also have a few Q-tips because why not? But let me just set that to the side and I'll just show you the inks that I have. So I had to, I had to, and we absolutely had to go and buy. These are the Paper Tree collaboration that, um, that Ferris Wheel Press did. And I did swatch this already once. I haven't really inked any of my pens with it, but I want to show you guys in case you haven't had a chance to see. Let me just first turn up the lights a little bit so that hopefully it's bright enough. And um, let's just unpack them first and foremost, because we're not gonna need them in packages if we're going to be inking. But I'm quite excited. I've seen a lot of swatches of the Dearest Navy and also the Shidori Cherry Blossom. And I was actually quite intrigued by the gray. Actually, I should just show you all of them first and then we'll get into swatching. The other thing that I just received recently, and this is not actually very commonly talked about on, on YouTube, which I mean, it absolutely should be. This is the Ferris Wheel Press collaboration with Wonder Pens with actually the, one, of the, one of the stationery stores in Toronto. And I've seen a close-up swatch of this because right now it just looks like, well, the name is called the Writing Desk. If you're able to get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. Um, I already kind of ruined the box. Although, I don't know, do you guys keep the boxes? Sometimes I like to. Anyway, so we'll be swatching this guy as well. And then I do have quite a few samples because I didn't realize that Wonder Pens has samples available. And if you can get your hands on samples, please do. So I have five of them here. And the, the colors are Cream of Earl, we also have um, Bathurst Blue Denim. Oh, that was so noisy. Um, Winterberry, Spadina Rose. And if you're not familiar, Spadina Rose and Bathurst Blue Denim, those are very like Toronto, like those are streets in Toronto. <laughs> Storied Blue, and, I, and that's it. So these are the ones that we're going to be swatching. Um, you know, why don't we start with the small ones because those are the ones that are, just makes you cringe a little bit. Not that it makes you cringe, you know what I mean. It just, they're so tiny. They're so tiny and cute, but at the same time, they're also, also like, eee, don't be everywhere. So why don't we start with Cream of Earl? I was super excited about this one actually. And, um, I thought that this would be great for writing. I'm not so sure if this is ideal for writing, but let me just dip in. See, like when you pack it on, it's like the most, like this green hued. Oh, I love this. I love this color so much. set this here to the side. Okay. 
I wasn't thinking that I would ink my pen with this, but now I'm like, Eesh. like I love this color. And I feel like maybe like on a medium nib, this would actually work really well. Okay, I will leave this on a back burner because I feel like this would be really, really nice. Let me get you guys zoomed in so you can see. Here we go. But if you look at close up, it's such a stunning color. But when you kind of look at it here, you're like, what is going on? Okay, let's take a look at the next one. This is Spadina Rose. <clears throat> and I actually, I really like this. I wanted to get more reds as we're moving into the holidays. So this is what she looks like just out of the jar. Jar, out of the tube, you know what I mean? Okay. <gasps> yeah. It, it has like this brownish hue when you try to kind of pack it on. Oh, so nice. Okay, let's see how she writes. I'm, I was pretty much sure that I wanted um, one of my pens to be inked with this. Spadina. Rose, like I really love like this dusty rose color. And even as a fine tip, it looks really pretty. In case you haven't seen it. So I'm going to actually set this aside because this is one of the ones that we're definitely going to go with. I'm just use my water. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Storied blue. Actually, no, let's let's look at winterberry. So the next red is winterberry. I'm keep shaking it because I can't remember if there's any um, sparkles in it or not. Oh, this does not make things any easier. This is also really stunning. Like, look how saturated that color is. Although I do feel like this would be, I believe this is actually a 2020 winter um, release. Winter berry, so. Okay, well, it runs on this one because obviously this is more of a, it's more for sketching than anything else, but it'll give you an idea of the color. Here we are. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So this one is storied blue. That's such a like light, beautiful blue. Ah, oh, these colors are so pretty, you guys. I'm going to be torn between storied blue and blue denim, even though I think some of these colors will just have to wait because I literally don't have this many pens. <laughs> okay, let's look at blue denim. And it's actually nice that I waited with the blues. I was very excited about this one, actually. Yeah, it looks like a true blue denim. 
so pretty. Like honestly, I'm happy with either one of these. Hmm. Here's a close up. Okay. Let's move on to some of the bigger ones. So this is Dearest Navy while we're staying in the blue category. It doesn't really need much shaking because it doesn't have any sparkles in it. Like there's no shimmer. And the description is, what is your description? Is basically they celebrate their 10th anniversary. It doesn't have, like, you know how sometimes it has, like, a description of, like, shimmer and, like, is it, like, the type of shimmer that it includes? It doesn't have that. Oh, actually, this one has a white spot. Okay, this is a totally different, oh, yes. I was so drawn to this, you guys. <laughs> it's, like, this true beautiful, look how dark and rich that is. I mean, it almost looks black here, but then like it, oh, this is gonna be hard. I can see why people kind of struggle with this because once you have a few inks, okay, so this is, there is wheel press. There is navy. super dark. I kind of wish it wasn't so dark, but I mean, it also looks really pretty. So I think it, it depends on the nib of your pen. So we'll give this a minute to dry, but right now I'm drawn to blue denim. So I'm already going to set this aside and Spadina Rose. Where's Spadina Rose? Oh, I already set it aside. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Next one is Shidori Cherry Blossom. Now this one we do need to shake because as you can tell, like there is a lot of shimmer here. Oh my gosh, like you look how much I shook it and then there's still like a ton of shimmer. Okay, now, now we're getting there. Stunning, still like one of the, oh my gosh, because like it adds like a little dimension having all of those sparkles there. It's very, very pretty. Okay. This is very sweet press. Here she is, super, oh my gosh, like I'm like in love with this, like with this ink. It's so, so pretty. Okay, and then the last two is Glimmering Grage. I feel like, okay, so like all of this is now dry. Most of these are dry. We'll give this a moment. But with the glimmering grayish, again, you have quite a bit of shimmer. Writing desk has no shimmer whatsoever, but this one you can kind of tell like just how much they've added, added in. It's 
So this took like no effort at all to kind of disperse it. Okay, it should be okay. This one is more of a thicker paper. Like it's, a, it's their sketch paper. So that's, I, I thought that this would be like a really nice one to actually do all of our swatches on because it's not such a thin little, like you know how the Traveler's Notebook just normally inserts to have just very thin paper. Oh, love this, love this. Like I love everything about these really light grays. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is Yeah, this is definitely a yes, which I kind of already knew, but it's nice to get confirmation. So out of these, it'll be these two. I don't even think I have enough <laughs> pens. <laughs> I have four pens to ink. So unless I clean one more, then, you know. Okay, let's take a look at writing desk, which I was also very excited about because it's, well, you'll see, right? Oh, it's so nice. But then it, it dries like this very interesting. So right now here, it looks like a brown, but it's not really a brown. It has like hints of green. So Ferris wheel press. Writing desk. I'm gonna wait until those guys dry so you can see. So here, I'm just gonna show you the water. So see as I'm, like you can see the green in there and you can kind of see it as it's drying, like right at that spot as it's, it's just, it's the most interesting. But at first you wouldn't think that it's a, it's a big deal. Like it wouldn't, it doesn't look anything special until you kind of get a little bit of a closer look. So here's what I'm thinking. I would like to use glimmering grayish, even though I'm, it's a kind of a battle between that and Earl Grey. But my fear is that if I use it in Earl Grey in any of my fine tip pens, it's not going to show up strong enough. So for now, I'm going to leave that. We're going to go with Spadina Rose and I think a little bit torn between storied blue and blue denim, but maybe storied blue and Chidori cherry blossom. Is that enough, right? So one, two, blue denim, spadina. So spadina, blue denim, three and four, right? Because it's one, two, three, four. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so, but take a look at the, see how you can kind of see on the edge a little bit of a hint of a green. Oh, it's so interesting. Anyway, let me put this aside and then I will put some music on and we can actually, before I do that, let me just put this away. I wanted to actually show you the, the pens. So obviously you've probably seen this, my Kaweco Sport. I bought like a little clip for it and I'm pretty sure I bought the wrong clip because this, it doesn't go on this side. It just goes on this, whatever. I still think it looks cute. So we're going to be inking her up really soon. And I had to buy a white one. So I just ordered this off of Amazon. It comes with a clip ready to go. They also, and here's the tip. I think it looks really stunning. It has a gold tip. Let me get rid of this because we're not gonna need it. Oh wait, I think we will need it actually because I don't have, I don't have the, Mm, I'm gonna have to wait with inking this one up because I ordered two converters for the Kaweco and it's not here yet. It's supposed to arrive today. And we also have um, my white Lamy. This one is in, this one is for the left-handers. Remember, this was like the very first one that I bought. So I cleaned this a little while ago and it's ready to go. And then, because I couldn't actually make it to the pen show, 
I wanted to buy like a very special pen and I ended up with the Twisby Mini and this one is in a, the Diamond 580. Apparently it's well loved within the fountain pen and planning community. So this one is the Mini in rose gold and white and I mean look how stunning she looks. So this kind of comes off. My thing is like, how do I, obviously I haven't like unpacked it. Okay, there we go. So again, my question is, yeah, this one, I think you kind of fill it through the pen. We'll figure it out. Let me put some music on. Let's get inking you guys. Okay, I, I filled up all my pens. Now I will say this, if you get these little samples or even like the two or three mils that Ferris wheel sell, sells directly from their website and you're having a hard time filling up your pens because it just doesn't fit in, I highly recommend getting like a syringe set like this. I actually just picked this up from Amazon and you get like a whole bunch of different um, vials and syringes and then you get like the different tips and honestly within like a second it's like completely filled like I have to show you like it's filled to the brim so if you have trouble filling just a side tip if you have trouble filling up your your Kuwaiko minis or your Kuwaiko sport I'm gonna have to wait with this one because I only have, I only have this. Which I mean, I guess I can just pierce it, take the ink out, I will play with it off camera. But for now, this is all I wanted to show you guys. This is all I wanted to kind of share with you for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And your question of the day is, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite ink here that I have showcased? What is your favorite color that you have enjoyed the most? Share in the comments and let me know. I would love to hear from you. And in the meanwhile, just enjoy your beautiful Sunday. Keep planning, you guys, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.